Hello, my name is Frank Burkhard, uh, Jr., and uh, I'm the owner of Burkhard Nurseries in Pasadena, California. And I'm here today to give you some simple tips on how to store your yellow squash, or as we call summer squash. Okay, it's actually what we call as crookneck squash, you know, one of the yellow uh, crooknecks. We carry several different varieties here. There's the straight crookneck, there's the curved crookneck, and there's several other crooknecks. So what you really have to really consider is on storage, like how long are you going to keep it and when are you going to eat it? So a lot of us, what we'll do is, as squashes are very prolific and you put in too many plants so you have all this crookneck, one of the simple ways of storing it would be to refrigerate it. And if you refrigerate it, you might be able to get, oh, maybe six, seven, eight days if it's not too cold in your refrigerator. Otherwise, it will start to turn brown on you and it starts to kind of like start to decompose and what will happen is then you've destroyed it. Uh, one of the old-fashioned techniques, when I used to have too much, I would just like leave it out in the field. It's protected by its leaves and what would happen, it would turn a very dark yellow, kind of ugly looking, but it would be dark yellow, very hard skin and then what I would do is after it hardened, what I would do is I'd move it into a cooler location and maybe two weeks later, three weeks later, what I would do is I would just go ahead and peel with like a potato peeler. I would peel the skin off and then the insides are still fine to eat. Sometimes when you do that method, inside it's gone to more seeds and it gets a little tougher, but you can store it a lot longer doing it this way. I'm Frank Burkhardt and those are tips on storing your summer squash.